Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to a brand new video. Enhance your chatbot accessibility by integrating it with WhatsApp in 2023. This tutorial will guide you through the integration process, enabling your chatbot to engage with users on the popular messaging platform. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing that you'll have to do is to head up to botpress.com. As you can see, this is the link. Here it is. Now, then you have to log in into your account. It's going to be very easy, very straightforward. Now, how can we actually integrate it with WhatsApp? It is a very easy process. The first thing is obviously you need to have a bot. So here, as you can see, I have already five bots. So I'm going to work on one of them. So normally the first bot that once you create it, you will have it that way. You will have here chat, logs, configuration variables, conversations, and analytics. The same thing goes for every other bot, as you can see. Now, once you created the bot, the next thing to do is to go to integrations. In this integrations, you should be able to click on browse in hub. And here you will basically find WhatsApp. Here it is, so uh, this is what it will help you to do. So the WhatsApp integration allows your AI-powered chat bot to seamlessly connect with WhatsApp, one of the most popular messaging platforms worldwide. Integrate chat bot with WhatsApp to engage with your audience, automate conversations, and provide instant support. With this integration, you can send messages, handle inquiries, and deliver notifications, and perform actions directly within WhatsApp. Leveraged WhatsApp powerful features such as text messages, media sharing, document sharing, and more to create personalized and interactive chat bot experiences. Connect with users on a platform they already use and enhance customer engagement with the WhatsApp integration for BotPress. Now for the features, these are the key features. So you will be able to send message types as choice, uh, drop down, card, file, uh, image, location, audio, text, carousel, video, and markdown. And the message settings are gonna be include ID and for the conversation setting, they can have phone number, user phone, template name, template language, and template variables. And for the actions that are gonna be start conversation. So here are the inputs that are gonna be in the outputs and various of things. Now to start the integration, simply just click on install and then go to bot, turn it on, and now you will have to start putting these three things. So click on here to know how you can actually connect it with WhatsApp. So first off, you have to have these three prerequisites. So first of all, a meta developer app. Check out this article to learn more about the setup. A WhatsApp business account to be your bot interface on WhatsApp. And a bot press cloud account and a bot press bot. Now, to set up your Facebook WhatsApp uh, integration in BotPress, the first thing is to go to the integration hub, which I have shown you already. Then you have to verify the token. The verified token is used by Meta to verify that you are the real owner of the provided webhook. You can generate any random alphanumeric string for this configuration. Paste it in your verified token channel configuration. So it should be here, the verification token, once you create your account on Meta meta uh, accounts so here the phone number id your meta apps left sidebar expand the whatsapp menu and, se and select getting started so basically here you should add your default number uh, phone number id for starting conversations and then you have to get your payment access token through the business settings so you have to go to navigate your business settings choose the business account associated with your app click on add under system users enter a name for the system user assign the admin role and click create system user and click on create asset and select apps from the asset type tab select your app and toggle manage app for control click generate new token and select what type business messaging and what type business uh, management permission and finally copy and save your token this is basically it and for finalizing channel configuration the next step is to enable the channel so make sure to not forget to turn it on like that so enable it like that and everything to be going great let's click on save 
and it will be looking well so webhook fields so we need to subscribe to the webhook fields below so here are all the fields that you have to get uh, from Mrs. so you can text is mapped to text objects so everything here is basically explaining uh, how to send messages how to automate how it explains everything that are basically existing in this page so let me just show you real quick here in the space specifically uh, yeah, this one exactly. It will explain it all, uh, how it works, how to add cards, how to add uh, like uh, conditions, how to connect them together, how to add answers, how to use AI, how to use documents, share documents, and etc. Share images and all of that basically through here. And just as a site information, guys, before you complete and publish your own bot, you should first try it out in here, in this emulator. You can actually try it in here. So, for example, I'm going to type hi, and let's see what it's going to do. So, the conversation had started, and now it's going to give us uh, this thing. So, for example, welcome on Barbara Studio. The chatbot template will show you the basics of, of building chatbot with press so here we have two options so for example which feature would you like to explore capturing information or, or answering questions let's talk about answering questions for example so here as an example they have given us like make sure to open the answering question workflow to follow along this example all right so let's see how your chatbot can answer question based on custom knowledge bases in this example etc so basically they are explaining everything in this template but in general for example let me just do that what is bot press and look at it answering question so now it will answer our question what is bot press and as you can see they are basically giving us affirmations they went from these brackets to the word bot press knowledge where they have all of these links that can help them to actually get the correct information so you can actually add links so for example wikipedia you can add wikipedia and just like that when anyone asks your bot for something it will search in wikipedia for the answer and get it for the users and this is basically just gonna make your bot go something like uh, chat gpt it's not going to be as efficient as chat gpt as it's not going to be as correct as chat gpt is at the moment of course as fast as chat gpt as interactive as chat gpt but it is a module it can be something that you will be proud of that you have made it by yourself you created the logic path you have made the sources you have connected everything together so it can be the best version of a small chat gpt that you have made be by yourself alone or in you're gonna just make it in like maximum of one day or two days if you spend like seven days on it it can even be better than chat gpt if you spend a month it can even take all the markets of the ai in the industry mm -hmm. and yeah guys this is how you can use this bot press for beginners and connect it with whatsapp so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial